looking to be blessed, looking for iPhone 7 and above, need a phone I can activate, someone bless me. Why a 7? Hasn't the 7 finally been dropped? Selling a TV cab that on Craigslist for $150, retails at $300, and got lowballed in the name of needy families. Let's see. Hello, if you help out a needy family, I'll give you 50 and pick up. Please let me know. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that, but thanks. I'm looking for a few things for my daughter's first birthday in August. If anyone has these items and are willing to let them go for free, white cake stands, folding tables, clear mason jars, chalkboard easel, coolers for drinks. Also, if anyone's willing to let me borrow these items for the party, that would be great. Just a mom on a budget trying to put together a nice party. <laughs> Why not just ask to borrow stuff from the get-go? rather than asking for people to give them to you for free from the get-go. There was a recent power outage. Lots of places offering free food and water and reimbursement for lost goods. I think this guy missed the memo. Anyone like to help me get foods? I can go to restaurants to get foods, but I need money. Message me because I used all my money on foods last Monday to get foods, but spoiled and now again, so please help me. Message me private, please. Thanks. I also have Facebook, Pay, or PayPal. That was actually quite hard to read, if I'm being truthful with you. Is so free, 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 working for one weekend only refrigerator, having a party, don't have enough room for food and drinks. To be clear, I want a free fridge that will only need to work for one weekend this upcoming weekend, July 3rd. Uh, you can come to my gathering if you bring one refrigerator. God damn! Can you imagine going to a club and the cover charge is a fridge? You can come to my party, but you know what you gotta do. Yo, how much for exclusives money ready your beats FYE, bro? Okay. Depends on the beat. The throwaways sell for like 60. What about 20? Uh, buy a basic license. I don't sell exclusives for that cheap. I want a exclusive, bro then pay the full amount. I can't, that's my budget. Then buy a basic lease. How oh, yeah. fucking hard is this to comprehend? No, okay. I want a exclusive. I'm not changing my prices for you. Please, hro, just buy what you can afford. It's super fire. I'm also prod these my beats look. Use your own beats then. Can that guy even talk? I have a family member who's seeking the services of a fully insured professional tree lopping service for this rare and money-making opportunity. They have five to ten trees, maybe more, that are around 20 meters tall that they require to be cut down. But here's the deal. You cut the trees and you keep all the wood, and you take and sell. Each tree is about 20 meters tall, okay, you told us that, and each tree can perhaps fill maybe 10 trailers full of wood, and generally a trailer selling for around $250, you're looking at making around $2,500 or more per tree, and if you take between 5 to 10 trees, you're looking at making a lot of money in this. This is a win-win scenario here. You cut trees for free, at a pace that suits your capabilities, and you keep all the profit. Please also note, you have to be fully insured and be a business, as there are houses. <sighs> hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm just gathering myself. Shed and property all around, and some trees are close, so you'd have to be able to climb the trees and take it down piece by piece in a safe and professional manner. The property is in the central coast in a suburb called Glenning Valley. Message me for more information and expressions of interest. Please keep in mind the right person who is interested will be needed to have a look and check the site in person. Okay, just to see what is required and have a chat with the owners. So, please ensure proof of insurance, business, and previous experience can be verified. Please send me a PM. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I don't work in trees, but you know. A gold nugget from my dad's business page on Facebook. He's a one-man show. One building, one website, one him. Hey, who's in charge of your marketing? Thank you for messaging. We're away and can't respond right now. These messages come directly to us and will be answered at the first available opportunity. Please be patient. Waiting for response? Hi, what can I do for you? Can you let me know who is in charge of your marketing? Is there a particular question you have? I can help. I want to know if I can help in any way with your marketing. 
And if you don't have anyone that's doing your marketing, I can give you a free 15 minute call about how you can improve your advertising. Okay, I'm answering this particular chat on a holiday because it seemed like an urgent matter with the way the messages were worded. Quite frankly, your approach of demanding to know who is in charge with an angry follow-up of waiting for response is your marketing style. I would say no thank you. Please move on, we're not interested. Suck my cock, bitch head. <laughs> wow! Did you write that response yourself, or do you have a team of crack writers? So original and creative. I just cannot come up with something so stinging. Congratulations. You really showed me. I need to use bitch head as an insult more often. Homeless guy. Sign says broke. Hungry. Traveling and ugly. I drove by him a couple times in the last day and kept thinking to myself I would stop to help him. I did not have the cash, but I had my lunch I hadn't eaten. Pure protein bar, Kirkland Trail Mix, Popcorners Chips, Organic Fruit Bar, Gardetto's Mix, and a water, all in sealed packages unopened. I rolled down my window and tried to give him the items. He looked at it and realized it wasn't money and said, Oh no, uh, no sugar for my diabetes. It was at that moment I realized he was a con artist. And sure enough, as the days went by and I continued to drive by the same place for about eight months now, I'm fully aware of the three regular panhandlers that wait at said light on rotation every week or two. Different signs, same people. I think I read a story once that, yeah, it can be quite lucrative, actually. Like, 60 plus grand a year sometimes, maybe even more than that. Scalper keeps complaining that people don't want to buy overpriced PS5s. This is the third time he's posting about them. Oh, oh yeah. PS5 consoles for sale, 730 each, no less. You guys buy houses 80k over what they're worth and you're complaining about 130 above retail, lol. <laughs> uh, someone tried to help up the PlayStation 5 market so that they could scalp and mm, it's clearly not working for them. Aw, oh, is somebody upset? No, I'm not gonna pay 730 goddamn dollars for a PlayStation 5. It's not happening. Not for you, not for anybody. Oopsie poopsies. Also look, if I pay $130 above retail for a PlayStation 5, I've got an expensive oh, yeah. PS5, even more expensive. But if I pay 80K over what a house is worth, that doesn't really oh, yeah. mean anything, does it? Hey, I've got a house. I work in IT and I get work requests from time to time. I like to ask them what they do for a living and if their job's something I could use, say lawn mowing. Then I ask them for the equivalent hourly rate of their time in return. I charge between $150 and $250 per hour depending on the job. I don't get asked much anymore. Ha! <laughs> kind of crazy, isn't it? No one wants to barter with their skills. Which is honestly kind of weird. I mean, as a voice actor, I don't really have a skill that I can, you know, trade for much. Other than this, I have been very fortunate in that regard, but I can't go around offering people, hey man, I'll do uh, custom voicemails and ringtones for you if you uh, uh, mow my lawn. Pay me $1,880 for the privilege of fixing up my property. With some TLC, this will be a great home in a great neighborhood. Must be a real handyman to rent this home and has to be living there with proof of tools? Please do not call or text if you don't have. Spacious manufactured home for rent in lovely manufactured home. Lovely clean lakefront community. Looking for someone handy as the home needs TLC and is as is and are looking for someone to fix it up. If this was renovated, it would rent for a lot more. Bull. We'll keep the same price for the year. Fenced in backyard, large shed, estates of Fort Lauderdale, Olympic sized pool, tennis court, shuffleboard, bocce ball, fitness room, basketball, BBQ pits, golf course, three bedroom, two bath with large living, large open kitchen and has island and bar for seating. House has great space and a washer and dryer. Call before it's gone. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's analyze this a little further. The rent is $1,880 a month. You, the tenant, are required to prove that you have tools and are gonna spend tons of money and time fixing this dude's whole house up, okay? And then he actually has the balls to say, in this post, we will keep the price the same for the year. So this Bull backwards ass stupid fucking piece of garbage. Apologies to the editor for all the cursing here, but this guy deserves it. This motherfucker had the balls to say, all right, cool. You are required to fix my house with your own money and pay me 
an astronomical amount of money in rent. And then, when you make my house better, I'm going to charge you more. If you would like to stay, you get to pay more money. How much more? I guarantee you it would be no less than a $700 a month increase. Guaranteed. Sorry, but landlords kind of piss me off just a little bit, okay? Especially when they're like this. Boy, you, dude. Also, real quick thing, days on the market, 126. I hope that number just keeps on climbing. I am livid. Blank has been babysitting for me for seven months now. $100 a week. The hours are easy. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. like a regular friggin' job. Yeah, those are so easy for $100 a week. And the kids are basically angels. They sleep most of the day anyway at this age. I get a text from her saying she's applying to Walmart and that she can't afford to work for me anymore. She's not paying me anything, I'm paying her. What do you mean afford? Oh, you stupid fucking bitch. Have fun working longer hours for less pay, you ungrateful bitch. And now, I'm stuck without childcare. All the daycares in my area are super expensive. Wonder why. And every time I've posted an ad on a local buy and sell, people have left really mean comments. I'm getting desperate. I can't believe she'd put me in this spot. This is risking my livelihood. I thought she was my friend. No, you thought that she was your little, <laughs> well, I'm not going to use specific words, but you know damn well how you fucking felt about her. So suck it. Suck it. Members of the House of Lords have complained about the quality of food and wine served in Parliament, despite 25 million pounds of taxpayer subsidies. One peer grumbled, there are only so many smoked salmon or prawn and crayfish salads one can take week after week. Both the Chardonnay and the Sauvignon Blanc are really poor quality. Can something be done? Wow, that sure is the lamest fucking thing I've ever read. You guys are fucking losers, dude. Losers, are you kidding me? You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? <laughs> wow. Cooking and meal prep will be much cheaper than the dollars of my work. All right, let's see. Hi, babes. I'm hiring a private cook for trade for July. My month is busy serving clients and I need help being fed. I want several home-cooked meals delivered weekly for four weeks. Single or full-time mamas might be an ideal match, or a man who wants to cook for a busy working woman. I'll give VIP space on my books to receive life-altering, deeply healing, transformative body work. This will be ideal for an individual who's maybe given birth and never received care or a safe space to heal and integrate their traumas or wants a deep relaxation reset. What? I assume the cooking and meal prep will be much cheaper than the dollars of my work, which is extra awesome for you. This is high value for me because time is money and I don't have as much available to slow cook or prep my foods. I need to be well nourished in bed. I don't do dietary restrictions and aim for 2000 plus calories in a day. Meats, broths, root vegetables, raw milk, butters, organs, fish, cooked fruits, and ancestral eating is the vibe. Butter me up, baby. I'd be happy to share my resources for pro-metabolic eating if it's interesting to you, which will support your body and healthy journey too. What? I love people that do stuff like this. I need something ridiculous, and I'm going to offer you a service in return. By the way, I assume that what you're doing is worth way less than what I do, so it's actually a great deal. So tell me, who in their right mind, with a, a what, or PhD in mathematics, will take a job that pays $2,200 to $3,500 per year, or 185 USD or 290 USD per month? Wait, fucking what? Excuse me? Holy sh**, this is getting out of hand. I don't think anyone's gonna wanna watch your four-year-old son for $3 an hour. So I'm gonna need a sitter for around five days a week, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Will not pay hourly. I think that's ridiculously too expensive and will pay 20 bucks a day. <laughs> I needed a good laugh today. Unfortunately, you would have to pay more. You cannot expect someone to take 30 hours a week of their time for less than minimum wage, especially if you expect them to drive you. And I'm gonna let you know right now, minimum wage is also bullshit. If someone offered me $7.25 an hour, or $15 an hour, depending on what city and state you live in, right? No, it's still not enough. I'm sorry. 
work for us for free. Hi, blank. We're looking to see if anyone wants volunteers to be involved in a community effort to work together pruning our vineyard. We're very new to the area, and it'll be a great way to meet our local community. Please come work for us for free. I think that'd be a great way to meet you guys. Trying to sell a bike. Got an absolutely unhinged offer. Holy crap, that is a hell of an offer. Watch it be nothing. Hi. That bike looks like me at my age. Just surviving. Pictures show the bike enjoys good care. Sure, right, don't worry. Mine sleeps outside summer and winter, and I use it very often when the cold weather is away. Mine has finally expired, poor thing. It was noble, sincere, no enemies, hard worker, all those things. You might wonder why I'm saying too much without knowing you and you knowing me, but it happens, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> you know, the guys who will give you a low, very low offer for your bike. So, you better stop reading before the next line. I don't want to be guilty if you suffer a heart attack. My offer is $40. No more, eh? That is final. You see, I haven't put a period after the word final. So, I beg you, please. If you don't need that bike, have the 40 bucks and enjoy with those a good movie with lots of popcorn and soda. I recommend the movie. Well, you better decide which one to watch. I can pass by today. I pay cash. If you decide not to sell to me, please ignore this message. It will be painful to read a no from you. Thanks. Jesus Christ. Randy Feltface was right. Just don't bother buying things from people, man. Made a $50 painting of SCP-049. Took me 36 hours, yet someone just asked for it for $5. Can I see a picture of it? I'll buy it. Spent four hours a day, and most of the minor parts took me two hours. Long story short, she got mad, and a person with a brain gave me 62 bucks. So hey, not that bad. I already sold it, but if you want to see it, I'll do my best to remake it as fast as I can if you want me to. Well, yeah, I want to see it. Like, goddamn. A few years ago, pre-pandemic, I was having dinner with a friend and sitting outside in front of the restaurant, in an area of London that had many beggars at the time. I guess it was easy enough for them to approach a captive audience sitting at a restaurant to ask for money. Anyway, while we were eating, a beggar came up to the divider to ask for spare change. I literally only had pennies and small change in my pocket, and I told him that, but he said anything helps. So I grabbed the handful of coins from my pocket and gave it to him. He looked down at it, handed it back, and said, thanks anyway, and walked away. I don't know, maybe he thought you were bluffing? What can I say? This grown man whining about a babysitter that asks for $3 an hour. I had a babysitting job turned down $30 a day and would only do it for 20 And when I- wait, do it for 20 What? 20 an hour, you mean? And when I told this grown-ass man no, he started yelling that he can't afford it and I'm a teenager who- Oh, okay, I kinda see what you're saying, this is weird. I work 8 to 5 for him on a good day. Also, I'm worth more because I'm first aid and CPR certified, because my mother working in the medical field made me. He expects a person to cook, clean, and all that stuff, and to put a three-year-old to bed for three dollars an hour. These beggars do be choosing. One dollar and thirty-six cents an hour. I need a couple new babysitters for my daughter. The shifts will be split into three days each. The times will be 12 to 11.15-ish, Monday through Wednesday. $15 a day, 45 a week, 90 bi-weekly, wrong by, as I get paid bi-weekly, wrong by, uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's the wrong one. This is due to the rising cost of gas lately, not my oh, yeah. problem. Please private message me if you're interested. I have a very sweet six-year-old daughter who loves to be as that. Look, I, I'm sorry. No, we're cutting that one off. I do sympathize with it. I mean, why the hell wouldn't I? I'm affected by the high gas prices and everything too, okay? But you require a service. You require the service. You don't get to set the price. That's not how that works. If you need or want something done, Sure, you can haggle, and that person might be willing to take less, but you don't get to do this. $1.36 an hour. Oops. Hope it sucks. Getting insulted after politely refusing a ride at 6.30 a.m. to someone I haven't spoken to in months. All right, let's see here. Yo, can you give me a lift tomorrow? I need to be at Blank Street by 7.20 a.m. Can't, man, I work at 7.30, sorry. Hey, pick me up at 6.30 a.m. at the Korean Church, intersection at Blank Blank, right side parking lot. From Blank Mall to Mainstream is 10 minutes. You can make it to work. Here you go. It's doable. I have to work at 9 a.m. I have to be back in Blank by then. It's very doable, trust me. Come on, man. I used to work two jobs back to back, from morning to overnight in my earlier years. You just need the willpower, which it seems you're lacking right now. 
Oh, you're right. <sighs> you're so right. Wow, willpower's gone. Good night. <laughs>